Hi, I'm Michael from Kitchen Cider and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to look at range cookers versus built-in ovens, the pros, cons, and considerations when it comes to your kitchen design. There are a lot of decisions to make when it comes to a kitchen renovation, and one I come across all the time is deciding between a range cooker or built-in ovens. And while there's no right or wrong answer, there are some factors to consider when deciding between the two. So let's take a look. Range cookers. Range cookers are arguably the more traditional choice, although they can look great in a more contemporary kitchen too. They are freestanding appliances rather than being built into the kitchen cabinets and they can act quite well as a striking focal point in your kitchen. While there are many different styles available, range cookers generally include sort of one to three ovens, several burners, a grill, and sometimes even a warming drawer or storage drawer all in the one appliance. They're also available in different fuel type options for the ovens and the hob or the cooktop. You could have all electric, all gas, or dual fuel where it's a combination of the two, usually electric ovens and a gas cooktop or gas hob. The most common range cooker sizes here in the UK at least are 90 centimeters wide, a meter wide, and 1.1 meters wide. However, you can get range cookers that are over two meters wide, but you're going to need a seriously big kitchen to fit one of those. You can also get small or mini range cookers that are usually 60 centimeters wide. Sometimes these are just referred to as cookers, and it's not really what I'm talking about today, but just to say these are available as well. Range cookers can come in many different color options and styles, allowing you to choose subtle and traditional or perhaps a bold and modern design, depending what you like. If you love entertaining and making meals for a large group, or if you have a big family, a range cooker could be a great option for your kitchen. So some quick pros and cons of range cookers. The pros, they have a larger capacity than built-in ovens. A typical one meter wide range cooker will usually have a capacity of about 180 or 185 liters versus a built-in double oven which will usually have a capacity of around 100 liters. Even a single oven and a separate compact oven will have a combined total of around 120 liters. And of course all of these will vary slightly depending on the make and model that you choose. It's an all-in-one appliance. So you have more features in just the one appliance. You'll have your ovens and your hob or cooktop, you'll get a grill and some will even have a warming drawer or a storage drawer as well. Fantastic focal point. Freestanding range cookers can act as a beautiful centerpiece to your kitchen. If you like entertaining for large crowds or you have a big family, they can be very handy because of that extra capacity I mentioned earlier. And there are many different color and style options available to choose from. And some cons, for people who don't cook that often, range cookers really have more than you would ever need. Having five or six burners and two or more ovens could really be overkill. They are a large single appliance that can take up quite a lot of space in your kitchen. So you really need to have a room that's big enough to handle this, not only the space of one but also visually. As it is a freestanding appliance it can break up that clean and seamless look if that's what you're going for. And most range cookers won't have the latest techie functions like Wi-Fi or touchscreen, certain multi-function settings, things like that. They're also not always that accessible. They're installed as freestanding appliances on the floor which means you're going to have to be bending down or squatting down to open the ovens and look inside. Which if you're tall like me isn't the most accessible. And they're going to need a larger dedicated power supply. Here in the UK at least, if it's an all electric model or even a dual fuel model, it's going to need a larger dedicated electrical power supply. Built-in ovens. Built-in ovens, as the name suggests, are built directly into kitchen cabinets and can help to achieve a more streamlined look. There are multiple types of built-in ovens, We've got single ovens, double ovens, compact ovens, and even warming drawers. Okay, technically warming drawers aren't an oven, but they're still part of this family, and technically you can cook in them. And all of these types of built-in oven will have standard sizes. Here in the UK, the standard width is 60 centimeters. They will just vary in height depending on the type. So a single oven is usually about 60 centimeters high, a compact oven will be 45 centimeters, and a built-in double oven is typically 88 to 90 centimeters high. And one of the benefits of having built-in ovens is the ability to install multiple ovens either on top of each other or side by side and have that sleek look. And you can also mix the type of oven that you have built in to give you more features. The most popular combination I see today is having a single oven with a compact combi oven above it, so it's a combination oven and microwave. 
microwave. And following on from this, compared to most range cookers, built-in ovens will offer more features, such as Wi-Fi connectivity, touchscreen controls, pyrolytic cleaning, slide and hide doors, or even handleless doors. The list goes on. So some quick pros and cons of built-in ovens. The pros. As I just mentioned, they'll offer more techie features and functions. There are different oven types available, such as steam ovens and ovens with microwave functions built in. They can be installed at different heights. This makes them ideal for anybody tall or anybody that might struggle bending down. Having the flexibility to install them at the height that suits you is a great accessibility feature. They give a more sleek and streamlined visual appeal, which can be great for more contemporary kitchens. They're ideal for smaller kitchens where space is at a premium. Because you can get smaller options and they can be separated, it's not one big appliance like a range cooker, it can work out better for smaller kitchens. And you may not need a dedicated larger power supply. You can get 13 amp ovens as well as 13 amp hobs, here in the UK at least. And some of the disadvantages, you'll need to buy multiple ovens and maybe even a warming drawer as well if you're trying to match the same capacity as a range cooker. And as well as that, you'll also need to purchase a separate hob or cooktop as well. And because of all of this, the cost can be greater. If you're trying to match a range cooker's capacity by buying multiple ovens and a big wide cooktop, it might cost you more. And some may consider them a little boring looking. There aren't really the color and style options available that there are with range cookers, and they certainly don't create the same feature or focal point that a range cooker might. Before we move on, a quick word from the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Invest in yourself and your personal growth. If you have a specific skill you're trying to learn, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From photography and videography to interior and kitchen design, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. This month, I've been continuing taking my course SEO Training 2022 by Jackie Owen. So you may or may not know that Kitchen Cider started out and is primarily a website. I built it about three and a half years ago now with the aim to create a central resource for everything kitchen design. And I've been steadily learning and growing it over the years. And Jackie's course has really helped me to understand where to focus and how to move forward. And as I said, there's also some fantastic interior and kitchen design classes if you want to learn and discover more to help with your new kitchen project. And you can do it for free. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Click the link and get yourself a one month free trial. What to consider when deciding between a range cooker and built-in ovens. So now we know what we're looking at and some pros and cons of each. Here are a few more things to consider and ask yourself if you're still deciding between a range cooker and built-in ovens. Size. Probably the biggest consideration to make is the physical size of each appliance. Do you have enough room in your kitchen to comfortably fit a range cooker while still leaving enough space to fit all your other appliances as well as enough clear countertop space as well. You may be in love with a big range cooker and really want one in your kitchen, but if having one is to the detriment of a good functional kitchen and workflow, it's really not going to be worth it. Price. Whilst there is an option for any budget these days, price is still an important factor. At first, it may seem that range cookers are far more expensive, but you have to consider that you're getting multiple appliances in one. And while a single oven and a small four burner cooktop will likely be cheaper than a range cooker, it's not a fair comparison. So think about what you really need and weigh up those costs as equally as you can. Design. This one is purely aesthetic. Do you prefer that sleek and integrated look of built-in ovens? Or are you in love with a beautifully big range cooker that creates a fantastic focal point in your room? While some built-in ovens can look slightly different, they generally look all the same. Whereas a range cooker, you'll have far more choice with colors and style. Features and functions. Range cookers can feature multiple size ovens, a grill, as well as a warming drawer or storage drawer. Whereas you would need to buy multiple separate built-in appliances appliances to achieve the same amount of features. However, most modern built-in ovens will offer you a wider variety of functions. And don't get me wrong, a lot of range cookers may also have some of these functions, it's just you're more likely to get these in built-in ovens and you're more likely to get a wider range of these features as well. So again, think about which features and functions you might need or want to help decide when it comes to picking between the two. Energy and connections. 
both range cookers and built-in ovens are pretty equal when it comes to energy efficiency ratings. But it's always a good idea to check that rating, the A rating, as well as the running costs when deciding between particular models. As well as this, a very practical consideration is to check if you have the correct wiring in place. If not, you may need new supplies installed into your kitchen. And depending on your individual circumstances, this could add a chunk of time and money to get into place. And if you're at all unsure, check with your electrician before you start purchasing appliances. So are you team range cooker or team built-in ovens? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll like this one, where I talk about some of the pros and cons of induction hobs and compare them to gas. It's another one that really divides opinions. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.